Now, another important aspect of the Olympics was unveiled last week, and that was the Athletes Village. Our reporter Clovis Casali was there for the inauguration, as was the president. Uh, Clovis, tell us a bit about it. Yes, President Emmanuel Macron inaugurating this athlete's village, a strong symbol. He met with all those who built it. So you had workers, you had uh, some of the 41 architects involved. And uh, Paris 2024 and the president were keen to stress to us that the budget was respected, that they did not overspend, uh, despite the war in Ukraine, despite COVID, meaning prices are soaring. Uh, but some here in France are still complaining about these games, even though they haven't even started. Some saying it's set to uh, create chaos in the transport, disrupt their lives. Others in France also saying it's a once in a lifetime uh, chance to host such an event. I'm sure you'll very much enjoy to see uh, these games in Paris. But I asked uh, President Ma Emmanuel Macron, how come Olympic fever hasn't spread to all the French? Here's his answer. In all of the countries where the Olympics and Paralympics were held, locals faced inconveniences. I remember at the Tokyo Games where we went with the mayor of Paris and others here. 82% of people were opposed to the Olympics. We are very far from that. The French support the Games and we are careful about that point. This inauguration of the Olympic Village should reinforce this support. Without the Games, we wouldn't be here building thousands of homes, of offices, facilities that will later benefit the population. And Clovis, one thing we hear the government and the organisers of the Olympics talking about quite a lot now is heritage. Yes, heritage refers to these long-lasting infrastructures, basically telling the French people, yes, we're spending millions, but it's set to last. You will be able to benefit from these infrastructures. And that's why the Olympic uh, Village, the Athletes Village, as we're calling it, uh, was built in the most deprived area of France, Seine-Saint-Denis, which is a, a Paris a suburb. Uh, and once the Games are over, this village will be turned into a proper neighbourhood in itself. 25% at least of the buildings you can see here will become uh, social housing. Then other buildings will be uh, sold, but at a moderate cheap mm -hmm. price. And then the rest will be sold to private uh, investors. The idea really is to, to help rejuvenate this area. And uh, you have infrastructures built all across uh, the French capital. And those are set to last also. I understand, though, there's a key goal here as well, Clovis, which is to reduce carbon emiss emissions at the same time. And that's why they're calling this an eco-friendly village. Mm -hmm. uh, but do bear in mind, well, those beds are made of cardboard. Mm. It's not new. Back in Tokyo in the last uh, Olympics, same thing. And athletes, some athletes at least, said it wasn't too uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Another contentious point is the lack of air conditioning in the uh, flats. And if you have a heat wave in Paris during the Olympics, it might prove a little difficult. And it did infuriate some delegations, such as the Australian delegation, mm -hmm. saying, we're not going for a picnic. This is the <laughs> Olympics. Um, the French uh, saying, don't worry, we asked the um, company building these, uh, uh, the, this village, what about the temperatures? And they said, don't worry, we're using the highest technology materials to make sure that inside the flats it remains cool. Mm -hmm. uh, they told us that they did tests when it was 36 degrees outside. It was 26 inside uh, the flats. But all of this controversy isn't new. We're going to see some pictures we found in our archive from back in 1984. 1984, of course, the Olympic Games in Los Angeles. And there already, problem with the village, people complaining about these rooms, four people per room, two bung beds, as opposed to two in one room here in Paris, four people sharing a bathroom, just worth mentioning. <laughs> Who's this? Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis, a legend of the sport, 10 uh, medals at the Olympics, nine gold, sprinter, great athlete. He was saying, no way, I'm not staying in the village. I'm staying in a hotel. And that's what many stars could be doing also, notably NBA stars. LeBron James, who absolutely wants to be part of these Paris 2024 Olympics, who might visit the village, but who's probably going to stay in a fancy hotel, one of the Palace Parisiens, <laughs> along with other NBA stars. All right. Really interesting. Thanks for taking us behind the scenes. Clovis Casali for us there.